What's crazy was I actually wanted to love the product so bad, but it didn't come through for me, so. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be reading your favorite TikTok products, yep, or like products that you have bought because of TikTok, okay? So that means you've been influenced, just like me. I have some of the most common products that you've probably seen on your For You page on TikTok. So I'm excited for this video, okay? So I'm gonna be reviewing the products and also giving a rating, okay? Quick disclaimer before we get started, I am not a licensed or certified dermatologist, none of that, okay? I'm strictly talking from a consumer perspective, okay? Okay, also, I'm not sponsored by any of these brands, so you know what that means. I'm going to give my unsolicited raw opinions on each of these brands. Alright, so with that being said, let's now get into the video. I need some water. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, so the first product that I have here is from Dossier, so it looks like this. So it's like a perfume brand, and they basically mimic the scent of... Um, what do you call it like high-end expensive perfume brands so they essentially mimic the scent and then sell it for a more inexpensive price so yeah i have this one right here this one is the pottery orange flower it's inspired by a valentino perfume if you guys are not into surprises i would actually like to show y'all how it comes so it comes in this box right here and then you open it this is the good part guys are you ready all right so when you open it it's gonna say iconic sense it's on a quality no markups and then you're gonna see this card inside i'm gonna take that out for a second and then you're gonna see your perfume this is like a lovely packaging but yeah so you're gonna get your perfume and it's also gonna come with a card and the card will tell you the notes like the scent notes and then it's also gonna tell you what it's inspired by and then the concentration so the concentration of this one is 15 percent i guess that's like how strong it is i guess i don't know i got the floral lavender and this one is inspired by ysl libre but yeah it also has like the scent notes which i'm not really gonna read okay y'all can see it's like so low because i've been using it so much i love it so you take the cap off and then you just spray it on you i like to spray it on my wrist and just dab it onto my neck and then you know everywhere else in my body so yeah, oh, bit strong, bit strong. So also guys, look how cool this is. It's magnetic, okay? I love that. Anyway, so I'm gonna give this a five out of five. I love this so much and it lasts on me all day, um, but it may be different from person to person. All right, so our next product that I know you have is the Gardener Cleansing Water. Gardener? Gardener. Garnier. I think I said it right, right? So if you wear makeup, you're familiar with this product. Um, it's a cleansing water. So it's supposed to remove makeup, cleanse, and hydrate your skin. I use this product personally to, you know, remove my makeup. I cleanse with this first and then I go in with another cleanser. So I double cleanse. I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5 because it does what it's supposed to do. So yeah. Alright, so for this next one, are y'all ready? Because... I'm ready to talk about this one. This one I was highly influenced and um, we just, we just gonna bring it right in. The Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Body Treatment. This product right here, um, I'm gonna be honest, okay? Full transparency, this did not do what it's supposed to do at all. So for that reason, I'm gonna give it a zero out of five and I'm gonna tell you why because this product right here gave me rashes. And yeah, I could see if it like took a while for the product to actually work, but it gave me rashes. So I'm sorry, I love you good molecules, but I gotta give you a zero out of five. Yeah, mm -hmm. What's crazy was I actually wanted to love the product so bad, but it didn't come through for me, so. Yeah, it is what it is, so uh, let's move on. This next product is Urban Decay. Now, if you're not a makeup girly, you don't know about this product right here. You don't know about this product. And that's okay, because I'm gonna explain it to you. This right here is the Urban Decay Setting Spray. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I got this because I started wearing makeup, so you know, I wanted to incorporate some good setting sprays into my routine, okay, my makeup routine. So we have this product right here, and we're gonna do a little experiment, okay? We're gonna do a little science experiment. 
So I have a paper towel right here and we're gonna test if this product right here is gonna do its job, okay? Are y'all ready? I'm ready, let's get into it. So first you wanna shake it up and then spray it onto your face. So we're just gonna fan it, okay. And then, are y'all ready? We're gonna go in with this paper towel right here. We're gonna dab this onto my face and see how much product will actually come off. If a lot comes off, that means that it's just not doing its job. And if a little does come off, then that means that, you know, it's doing its job, okay. I'm gonna start with my right side. Oh, not that bad. Can see that? Wait, hold on, that's actually a lot. Oh my gosh. Huh. I don't know. I think that's kind of a lot. I'm not gonna cut. But we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to the other side. I'm gonna use the back of it and see. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Do y'all see that? Nah, that's a little too much. That's a little too much. <sighs> okay, well, I'm gonna give this product, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. A 3.5 out of five. We're just gonna, we're gonna be nice, okay? We're gonna give it a 3.5 out of five. It's okay, maybe, I don't even know what I did wrong. I'm new to makeup, guys. Anyway, we're gonna move forward. Um, let me see. Okay, so next we have a cleanser. So this is the Youth to the People Kale Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Super Food Cleanser, okay? So it looks like this. I know it's a bit small. Oh my gosh, look at it, it's so small. But anyway, I got it for free, which is why it's so small. But it smells so good. Um, I'm still on a hunt to find a cleanser that doesn't really break me out because I believe that cleansers break me out, okay? But um, yeah, I like this cleanser. I don't think um, I don't think it's bad at all. It smells so so good, and it smells like um, it smells greeny in a good way. And I say good way because green juice tastes horrible, okay? Horrible. But this right here, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this one smells good. Um. And I do think it actively cleanses my face. So I'm gonna give this a four out of five because I feel like it's still kind of, I don't know if it hydrates. I don't know. It smells good, but I don't know. I feel like it kind of leaves my face just a little dry, just a tad bit, but um, it does cleanse my face. I will say that it cleanses my face. So for that, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Next, we're moving on to Topicals. This is a faded serum from Topicals. I'm gonna give this product a four out of five, not because it smells horrible, because I really don't care about that, but because I feel like it's so harsh on my skin sometimes. I feel like it kind of breaks me out even more, to be honest. I don't know, I kind of get like a tingling feeling when I use it sometimes, and when you get a tingling feeling, I don't know if the product is doing what it's supposed to do, okay? I think, when it gives that tingling feeling, it's usually because it's just too harsh for your skin. So, um, like I said, I'm not a licensed anything. I'm just speaking from a consumer perspective. Um, I do like it though, and I will continue to stand by this and use it, but it's, it's just a little too harsh on my skin sometimes. That's the only thing. For the smell, beware of that because it does have a smell, so when you purchase it, you will smell something. It's just inevitable. But yeah, other than that, it's good. It does have a smell, but I don't really care as long as it's doing its job for me. That's all that really matters. But um, yeah, I'm gonna give this a four out of five, like I said, just because it's a little harsh on my skin sometimes, but I do believe that it gets the job done. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for this one. All right, so for this next one, it is a sunscreen, and I already know you know about this one. You know about it, because you purchased it, okay? So it is the Black Girl Sunscreen. I love this product so, so much. I'm gonna give this a five out of five. 
5 out of 5. It's so, so good. Also, it doesn't really leave a white cast. It has an SPF of 30, and um, it's really, really hydrating. I'm telling you, this will leave your skin glowing. This is actually for people with dry skin. So if you have dry skin, I recommend you getting this kind. If you have, like, um oily skin you might want to get like the matte one again i am not a licensed anything but i just think that you know if you have oily skin you might want to go for matte and if you have dry skin then you might want to go for this one right here um it leaves your skin glowing it might look like a grease ball i'm not gonna lie but for me personally i like to look moisturized and it just i love i love the glowing look the glowing effect okay so yeah yeah get that um but yeah, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. You already know. Um, oh, yes. And also, when you're using the Topicals um, serum, you also want to pair it with a sunscreen. Oh, no. My battery's low. Okay. Also, when you're using this sunscreen, please make sure... Sunscreen? This is not a sunscreen. This is a serum. Come on. Okay. My camera's dying. I can't work on the brush like this. <sighs> okay. Um. <sighs> ah, let me go get my battery. Hi guys, I'm back with the new battery. Okay, so like I was saying, if you're gonna be using this serum, please make sure to pair it with a sunscreen because this serum will make your skin very sensitive to the sun. So you're gonna need that protection. Um, also, <laughs> I forgot to mention, black people, please <laughs> use your sunscreen. Black people, this is for my black people, please use your sunscreen. We also need to be protected from the sun. Next, oh my gosh, I want to talk about this. Next is the topical. Next is the Hello toothpaste. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It looks really, really good. Like, I love how it looks. I don't know, it just looks aesthetically pleasing to me. But anyway, so this is anti plaque plus whitening, and it's a fluoride free toothpaste. I think that's what drew people um, to this product right here is fluoride free. There's a lot of controversy surrounding fluoride, so a lot of people, you know, would like a fluoride free option. So this is it right here. Um, it also has like a, it says natural peppermint with tea tree plus coconut oil. So it's kind of healthy. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Yeah, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5, but let me tell you why. I don't like the consistency at all. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Let me show you guys. So, this is the consistency. It's like too gooey for me. Can y'all see that? Yeah. So, that's the consistency, and it's just... It's too much, and I feel like um, over time, it can get a little messy when using this toothpaste so yeah other than that I think it serves its purpose I didn't really use this toothpaste for very long because of that problem for me but I mean if you want a fluoride free toothpaste you got an option right here okay so um but yeah that's all but I have an honorable mention for this video y'all ready y'all know about this and I know you do because you also have this okay so this is a body lotion and it is the Bum Bum Body Lotion right here. It is the So Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I know you have this. I know. You don't have this on me. I already know. So this is how it looks like. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It's very small. I got the small one, okay? Um, and it smells really good. It's kind of water-based. So if you want like a thicker type of body cream, body lotion, um this one's not your guy but it does smell really really good and i think it lasts you know somewhat okay on your body i don't know honestly does it really last long i feel like if you pair it with their fragrance mist because they do have a fragrance mist it, it can last really long i like it though i'm gonna give this a five out of five because it smells really really good and i think it does somewhat a great job of you know um lasting on your body so Alright guys, if you guys liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!